asifiwe haleluya amen tunaweza kuketi kwa wale ambao wanaweza kuketi um, kwanza kabisa napenda kuwasalimu katika jina la Yesu hamjambo sana bwana Yesu asifiwe nataka tukukumbusha hivi ya kwamba hata leo Mungu bado hajashindwa naona kuna watu ambao wameniamini wamekaa upande huu nataka kusema hivi hata leo Mungu hajashindwa we may look like we are losing but we are not losing the battle belongs to the Lord na bado sisi tunashinda nataka kutangaza hadi kuzimu itambue we have not lost a battle we are not losers Mungu bado wako upande wetu haleluya Amen. Biblia inasema hivi katika kitabu cha Sijui ni wewe utanisaidia kushika hivi. Kitabu cha Waibrania Hebrews chapter number 12. Waibrania 12. Mstari wa kwanza. Ha. Biblia inasema hivi kwa kwa Kiswahili basi na sisi pia kwa kuwa tunazungukwa na wingu kubwa la mashahidi namna hii na tuweke kando kila mzigo mzito na dhambi ile ituzingayo kwa wepesi kwa upesi na tupige mbio kwa saburi katika yale mashindano yaliyowekwa mbele yetu tukimtazama Yesu mwenye kuanzisha na mwenye kutimiza imani yetu ambaye kwa ajili ya furaha iliyowekwa mbele yake aliustahimili msalaba na kuidharau aibu naye ameketi mkono wa kuume wa kiti cha enzi cha Mungu kwa Kiingereza mstari wa kwanza unasema wherefore seeing we are also compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Kama uko mahali hapa na umeokoka. Kama uko mahali hapa na hujaokoka. Najua kuna watu wamekuja kwa haya mazishi kwa sababu walimpenda dada Elizabeth kuna wenye wamekuja kwa sababu walisikia scandal wanakuja kudhibitisha kama ni kweli. Kuna wale ambao wamekuja kwa sababu wanapenda jamii ama ni washirika wa kanisa. Kuna wale wanaumia lakini leo nataka kukuambia hivi. Mungu alikuleta hapa usikie neno. Whatever reason brought you here. Nataka kukuhakikishia Mungu alikuleta hapa usikie neno. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Maandiko ambayo nimesema inasema ya kwamba tumezingirwa na wingu kubwa sana la mashahidi. Sema wingu kubwa. Na kwa sababu ya hiyo wingu lazima ujue kwamba tuko katika mbio. Na hii mbio Bishop Petrel amesema haujui wewe utalala aje. Haujui utamaliza namna gani. Kulingana na historia na maono na mipango ya dada yangu na rafiki yangu Elizabeth hakuwa amepanga kwenda saa hii. Hallelujah. She had great dreams. Kuna kitu ambacho alikuwa anapenda kushare na mimi sana. She was sharing with me a very personal issue. Na wajeni niwaambie kulingana na maono yake sio hivi ilikuwa iishie. Na lakini kuna kitu ambacho ninataka nikwambie no matter what your dream is ujue uko mbioni kuna watu wanakimbia ndani ya safari ndani ya kiwanja ndugu mmoja wa my, my, my husband my brother in law alikuwa mkimbiaji katika nchi ya Kenya alikimbia mpaka akawakilisha nchi yetu katika nchi za nje na siku moja akiwa nakimbia hiki kilikuwa Yugoslavia alikuwa nakimbia kwa juniors alikuwa one of the champions wa 200 meters akiwa nakimbia alikimbia akakimbia kufika pale mbele akawa yeye ndio wa kwanza lakini cameras zikaonyeshana ya kwamba wakati alikuwa nakimbia alikanyaga uh, line 
na atakuwa disqualified. Hallelujah. All of us tuko mbioni. All of us tuko mbioni. Upende usipende, we are on a race. Na katika hii race kuna wale ambao wanaenda 100 meters. Ni unasikia tumezika mtoto wa miaka miwili. Tumezika mimi nilipata mtoto na akafariki immediately. Hiyo ni zile short races. Short races. Kuna wale wanaenda 200. Kuna wale wanaenda 400 meters. Unakuta mkijana amefika miaka 18 ameenda. Kuna wale ambao wanaenda marathon. Ineos 159.59. Na imia mbio kabisa. Anaanza asubuhi saa 7 baada yuko kwa barabara. Kwa sababu hii ni challenge ya masafa marefu. Ndio unakuta kama nyanya yangu alizikwa akiwa na miaka 112 marathon. Haleluya. Alafu kuna zingine ni 1500 steeple chase. Unakimbia. Woi, ndio unakuta nanga na kila saa ukikutana na kwambia nasikia kichwa tumbo na mgongo kifu kila siku anaumwa. Hiyo ni steeple chase. Magoti nauma. Mara kwa hospitali, mara kwa kijabe. Lakini tupende tusipende tuko wapi? We are in a race. We are in a race. Na hakuna kitu kibaya kama kukimbia ukiangalia anga wengine wanakimbia namna gani. Wenye wamekuja kuangalia race ya Elizabeth baada ya leo utasema nini? Niage koma. Hello? We are still on a? Uliza jirani yako unakimbia aje? Eh hey, kuna watu wanaangalia amevaa hivi, amejipaka hivi, anaongea na nani? Come on! Run your race. concentrate na wengine no matter what you do people will talk yeah. ukinona uki ufungangi na kuomba yeah. ukikonda uko na ukimwi yeah. ukitajirika we ni the worshipper yeah. ukikuwa maskini Mungu akusikii yeah. ah, run your race bwana Niliumwa, niliumwa lakini faili 
nilifanya nini? Nikimuona hapa kwa sanduku ninaumwa lakini faili imefanya nini? Na hii katiba haina majumba na mandizi atutapiga tuseme arudi asirudi. File imefungwa. So you better run your race. Ukiwa mwepesi. Haleluya. Ukiwa mwe vitu zingine tunakimbisha nanga nazo. Unajua mimi zina pasta dan. Mimi zina ni ati sasa oo oh, uko na suti ngapi mimi ngapi? Unaishi nyumba ya gorofa mwingine ya chini. Kitu inanishangazanga ni wacheni niulize swali. Niulize swali. Biblia inasema dunia na vyote vilivyomo ni vya nani? Ni vya nani? Kwa nini nikitajirika mimi nitavoshipa? Shetani ashindwe mfululizo. Mimi hakuna mahali Biblia imeniambia ya kwamba utajiri unatoka kwa shetani. Bwana asifiwe. Sasa badala ya mukonsentrate na chenye mtumishi wa Mungu anamwaga kwa maisha yako. Badala ya concentrate na usima na life Yenye Mungu amepoa into your life kupitia huyu mtumishi. Unasema yenyewe anahubiri vizuri lakini kai anaendesha prado. Unajua hiyo ni pesa ngapi? Milioni 4. Hiyo imagine. Milioni iko mimi na igere. Gadi moto mwe. Si angesaidia maskini. Hiyo roho nishaiona kwa Biblia. Hata wewe. Eh, siku moja mwanamke mmoja akaleta ibada kwa Yesu. Akavunja manukato ya bei kali. Hata wakati alisema tungesaidia kwame alikuwa anachunga mfuko. Wapendwa, iko angaliana mfuko inatufanya hatuendi mbinguni. Stop looking at the past. Wacha kuangalia mfuko ya Elizabeth. Angalia legacy ya huyu mama. Angalia utamu huyu mama alileta. Mazee huyu mama si alikuwa anang'ara. I grow up. Chini. Wacha kuchimba mwenzako. 
Najua kuna wenye wendangi church leo nimewapata. Unasema anga kanisa tunataka sadaka. Hatutaki sadaka leo. Tunataka usikie neno. Wanasifiwe. You need to come to a place. Uweke vitu chini. Unanichukia mimi. I'm running my race. I am running my race. Mahali mimi na mume wangu tunahudumu. We are okay. Makanisa tumefungua. We are okay. I am not concerned about how bad you preach. Hata kama unasemanga ngodi so ngodi, sema hii so ngodi na usonge. Run your race. Make a competition chini. Make a fitina chini. Weka madharao chini. Weka magari zako chini. Kama umejenga sijajenga, wesa hao hiyo tusho. Kama ujajenga si unajua binguni Yesu alienda kutujengea. Sasa stress ni ya nini? Kama hauna gari, si umefika. Mwenye alikuja alipanda ndege kutoka Mombasa, mwingine amekuja na nduvi, mwingine amekuja na baiskeli. Lakini cha muhimu ni kwamba tume Sina. So hivi tu kidogo kidogo inatutoa inatuleftisha group like my brother in law alivyo kanyaga akakuwa disqualified don't allow yourself to be disqualified stay on the race hallelujah biblia inasema nini linda moyo wako sana kuliko vitu vyote unavyo watch over your heart Guard your heart. Think good things about people. Ukipigia mtu asipochukua simu acha kusema amekuzimia sema simu yake imeisha moto. Nafikiria mambo mazuri. Simu ikilia usiku acha kusema kai kuna shida. Wacha kusifikiria shida. Sema kai iko na ka surprise. Tifunze kufikiria mambo mazuri. Tembea kwa wepesi. Tembea kwa wepesi. Zamani mimi nilikuwa hao watu wanaekanga records my friend. Hmm. Unakumbuka vyote mahakamani? Mashtaka yameletwa. Inasemekana mnamo tarehe fulani, saa fulani, wewe pamoja na wenzio wasio kuwa mbele ya koti. Muli nilikuwa hivyo na kalist. Pastor Dan, nilikuwa na kalist. He mimi before utuambiane oh sorry oh you see alafu useme kama nilikuwa nimekosea bas bas kama hiyo tena nina disqualify siku hizi we ega hiyo timu nene mimi nimejua kutembea very light miaka mingi iliyopita before nijifunze wakati nilianza kuambia Mungu please nisaidie nisaidie Mungu nitifunze kusamehe unajua cheni unaombea ndio Mungu anakuleta yanga mtihani sasa he, mume wangu akafanya kitu yenye kwangu ni makosa nikaweka karist alipokuja jioni nikamwambia Alfred Bogonko mwana wa mayeka leo asubuhi saa mbili na dakika 44 na nusu ulisema hivi niliposema hivi ukasema hivi na bado sasa nikamwambia nilikuazika nikaumia leo sijakuwa na amani sasa nataka uniomba msamaha mjue mwenye alinioni omo wako mgusi aliniangalia akaniambia wewe wacha kunitafuta bwana mimi sijakukosea eh hey, na kama unataka nikwambie sorry sikwambi nilikuwa na option hiyo kitu nipeleke supreme court si ndio option 1 option 2 tu, tumalizie magistrate court sasa hiyo asubuhi unajua vile nilimwambia Unaona hapo mahali umeniambia hutasema sorry. Nimechukua hiyo sorry nimekusamehe. Hiyo <laughs> yenye hutasema nimeichukua. Alisema Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Amen. Tunaweza kuketi kwa wale ambao wanaweza kuketi. Uh, 
Kwanza kabisa napenda kuwasalimu katika jina la Yesu hamjambo. Hamjambo. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Ninashukuru kwa sababu nimetunikwa heshima kubwa sana siku ya leo kuweza kuleta neno la Mungu kwetu. Ni heshima kubwa kwa sababu I have my contemporaries, I have my juniors, I have my seniors. Na vile nilitunukiwa nafasi hii niliona ni heshima kubwa sana. Na ninaomba kwamba Bwana ataweza kunitumia kwa sifa na utukufu wa jina lake. Na ningependa niweze kukaribisha mume wangu aweze kuomba. Bishop Bogonko karibu sana. Kama ni please pray for the word. Baba katika jina la Yesu tunakuja mbele zako mchana wa leo tunakushukuru e Mungu kwa sababu hatuna Mungu mwingine kama wewe Na wakati huu Bwana tunakucha kupeana pole na kusikia neno lako kwa sababu ya dada yetu Bishop Elizabeth Naombea Reverend Faith as she speak the word of God kwamba Mungu utamtumia kama chombo kunena na mioyo yetu Tunakataa maroho yote ya kinyume every negative spirit we come against you in the name of Jesus na tunatangaza kwamba tutabarikiwa wale wamefushika moyo watatiwa moyo wale wachaokoka wataokoka na sifa na shukurani itakurudia wewe ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na kuamini amen amen bwana Yesu asifiwe kuna wimbo unaimba hivi wewe Haulinganishwi kamwe na kitu chochote kile wewe ni wa pekee wewe haulinganishwi kamwe na kitu chochote kile wewe ni wa pekee wewe wewe Haulinganishikamwe na kitu chochote kile wewe ni wa pekee ni wewe ni wewe Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ninataka tukukumbusha hivi ya kwamba hata leo Mungu bado hajashindwa. Naona kuna watu ambao wameniamini wamekaa upande huu. Nataka kusema hivi, hata leo Mungu hajashindwa. We may look like we are losing but we are not losing. The battle belongs to the Lord na bado sisi tunashinda. Nataka kutangaza hadi kuzimu itambue. We have not lost a battle. We are not losers. Mungu bado wako upande wetu. Haleluya. Amen. Biblia inasema hivi katika kitabu cha Sijui ni wewe utanisaidia kushika hivi. Kitabu cha Waibrania Hebrews chapter number 12 Waibrania 12 Mstari wa kwanza ah, Biblia inasema hivi 
kwa bibi kwa Kiswahili. Basi na sisi pia kwa kuwa tunazungukwa na wingu kubwa la mashahidi namna hii na tuweke kando kila mzigo mzito na dhambi ile ituzingayo kwa wepesi kwa upesi na tupige pio kwa saburi katika yale mashindano yaliyowekwa mbele yetu tukimtazama Yesu mwenye kuanzisha na mwenye kutimiza imani yetu ambaye kwa ajili ya furaha iliyowekwa mbele yake aliustahimili msalaba na kuidharau aibu naye ameketi mkono wa kuume wa kiti cha enzi cha Mungu. Kwa Kiingereza mstari wa kwanza unasema wherefore seeing we are also compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Kama uko mahali hapa na umeokoka. Kama uko mahali hapa na hujaokoka. Najua kuna watu wamekuja kwa haya mazishi kwa sababu walimpenda dada Elizabeth. Kuna wenye wamekuja kwa sababu walisikia scandal, wanakuja kudhibitisha kama ni kweli. Kuna wale ambao wamekuja kwa sababu wanapenda jamii ama ni washirika wa kanisa. Kuna wale wanaumia lakini leo nataka kukuambia hivi Mungu alikuleta hapa usikie neno Whatever reason brought you here nataka kukuhakikishia Mungu alikuleta hapa usikie neno Bwana Yesu asifiwe Maandiko ambayo nimesema inasema ya kwamba tumezingirwa na wingu kubwa sana la mashahidi sema wingu kubwa Na kwa sababu ya hiyo wingu Lazima ujue ya kwamba tuko katika mbio. Na hii mbio Bishop Petre amesema haujui wewe utalala aje. Haujui utamaliza namna gani. Kulingana na historia na maono na mipango ya dada yangu na rafiki yangu Elizabeth, hakuwa amepanga kwenda saa hii. Haleluya. She had great dreams. Kuna kitu ambacho alikuwa anapenda kushare na mimi sana. She was sharing with me a very personal issue. Na wajeni niwaambie kulingana na maono yake sio hivi ilikuwa iishie. Na lakini kuna kitu ambacho ninataka nikwambie. No matter what your dream is. Ujue uko mioni. Kuna watu wanakimbia ndani ya safari, ndani ya kiwanja. Ndugu mmoja wa my, my, my husband, my brother in law alikuwa mkimbiaji katika nchi ya Kenya alikimbia mpaka akawakilisha nchi yetu katika nchi za nje. Na siku moja akiwa nakimbia hiki kilikuwa Yugoslavia, alikuwa nakimbia kwa juniors. Alikuwa one of the champions wa 200 meters. Akiwa nakimbia alikimbia akakimbia kufika pale mbele akawa yeye ndio wa kwanza. Lakini cameras zikaonyeshana ya kwamba wakati alikuwa nakimbia alikanyaga uh, line na akakuwa disqualified haleluya all of us tuko mioni all of us tuko mioni upende usipende we are on a race na katika hii race kuna wale ambao wanaenda 100 meters ndio unasikia tumezika mtoto wa miaka miwili tumezika mimi nilipata mtoto na akafariki immediately hiyo ni zile short races Short races. Kuna wale wanaenda 200. Kuna wale wanaenda 400 meters. 
the city of champions. Yes. Ukitembea kwetu saa hii asubuhi, asubuhi mapema, unakuta watu wanakimbia. Wamevaa kinyasa inakaa handkerchief na kavest. Wengine wamevaa boshori na kisweta na zip na gumboots na masocks. Lakini kuna mwenye anaangalia the goal. Amejiona London Marathon. Amejiona akiingia Germany kwa marathon. Haangalii baridi, anaangalia gharama. Amewacha viatu zake nyumbani. Ameacha masengenyo nyumbani. Ameacha wanaopigana nyumbani. Anaangalia marathon. Anajua ninateseka leo, lakini nitarudi kwa airport. Nipatiwe murusik. ziko chini ni wake makuwa ni watarania na ni walirika na mama mama tani hika ni wake lirika na alafu umehesabu maubaya mauofu alinikwasa umekuwa sika umekuwa sukuo you still there umekoma you cannot move you are on a race inuka biblia inasema isaia 52 inuka jikumbuke twende safari bado inako sijui kama mnanielewa maana sifiwe lazima tuweke vitu zingine chini wacha kuchimba mwenzako Najua kuna nyaendangi church leo nimewapata. Unasema anga kanisa tunataka sadaka. Hatutaki sadaka leo. Tunataka usikie neno. Amen. Amen. You need to come to a place uweke vitu chini. Unanichukia mimi I'm running my race. I am running my race. Mahali mimi na mume wangu tuna hudumu. We are okay. Makanisa tumefungua. We are okay. I am not concerned about how bad you preach. Hata kama unasema na ngodi hizo ngodi, sema hizo ngodi na usonge. Mimi 
nimejua kutembea very light miaka mingi iliyopita before nijifunze wakati nilianza kuambia Mungu please nisaidie nisaidie Mungu nitifunze kusamehe unajua chenye unaomba ndio Mungu anakuletea hapo mtihani sasa he, mume wangu atafanya kitu yenye kwangu ni makosa nikaweka karist alipokuja jioni nikamwambia Alfred Bogonko mwana wa Mayeka <laughs> leo asubuhi saa mbili na dakika 44 na nusu ulisema hivi niliposema hivi ukasema hivi na bado sasa nikamwambia nilikozika nikaumbia leo sijakuwa na amani sasa nataka uniomba msamaha <laughs> mjue mwenye alinioni ombo lako mgusi <laughs> Aliniangalia akaniambia wewe hata unitafuta bwana. Mimi sijakukosea. Eh, na kama unataka nikwambie sorry, sikwambi. Nilikuwa na option. Hiyo kitu nipeleke Supreme Court. Si ndio? Option 1. Option 2, tu, tumalizie magistrate court. Sasa hiyo asubuhi. Unajua vile nilimwambia? Unaona hapo mahali umeniambia hutasema sorry. Nimechukua hiyo sorry nimekusamehe. <laughs> hiyo yenye hutasema nimeichukua. Alisema sitasema sorry kasa hiyo hiyo bas nimechukua nimekusamehe. Trus. Tembea kwa wepesi. Sio lazima watu wakuombe kwa msamaha. Wewe jikaa peke yako unafuta. Delete. 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 Kuna watu wako sasa msalimiane tukutendereza tukutendereza lakini unajua unaambia waangeshi lakini kenobia ndio unaambia wewe wewe nimekusamehe travel light travel light travel light the world will be a better place if we travel light Bwana Yesu asifiwe wakati nilisikia my sister amefariki nilikuwa na option nifuate bloggers na mtandao na vile vitu walikuwa wanasema chenye nilijiambia ni hivi and i will live with this till, till i go to jesus mimi i knew bishop elizabeth wanjiru as my friend alitembea na yesu alimpenda mwokozi that's all i know i need no other argument i need nothing else that is enough for me and that is the testimony i will carry na ninajua wale ambao wanatuangalia kwa mtandao walifikiri Elizabeth is a nobody i want to declare this woman is a hero a giant of faith a mother and a father father's day huyu alikuwa a celebratiwe because she not only mothered she fathered sons hallelujah i will celebrate her because she was a hero and she will remain a hero in the heroes of faith in nakuru county This woman has done what many men cannot do. Mume wangu ni askofu. Kuna watu wao wanatafuta mume wangu anamwambia, "Hati niko na mwito, nifungulie kanisa, mimi nitafanya kazi." Huyu wako anatafuta afunguliwe. He? She would go where giants have failed and do great and awesome things. Come on, let us celebrate this woman of God. Even as she has departed, we celebrate. We celebrate. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Now the Bible says, kuna hero tumeambiwa because there are many witnesses. Kwa sababu kuna watazamaji na wasikilizaji wengi. Hawa ni kina nani? Ukirudi chapter 11 ya Hebrews unakuta the heroes of faith. Wacha tu nitaje mmoja wawili alafu nimalizie. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Unakuta hero mmoja ambaye anaitwa Abel. Abel alijua kutolea Mungu bila salmon. Abel alijua Mungu ni Mungu wa kuheshimishwa na sadaka zangu. Kwa hivyo alitoa vile Mungu anapenda. A hero of faith in giving. Mwingine anaitwa Noa. Noa aliamini Mungu, we? Nimekuwa pasta sasa this is mwaka wangu wa 32 tangu nikuwe mchungaji. Lakini wacha niwaambie in the 32 years ningekuwa nimehubiri 32 years 
na hakuna mtu ameokoka ningerudi kwa Yesu nimuulize hebu ujue vile tutaishi sinifanye hivi bwana nimesimama kila siku nasema the bible says the bible alafu watu wanapita wanasema one year two years thirty years forty years fifty years seventy nine igana one ten one twenty nobody hakuna mtu aliokoka alafu ujumbe wake ulikuwa nini mvua kubwa itanyesha tubuni nimetenga hii safi na ingeni kwanza akijenga na imagine watu wakienda christmas walikuwa kipita mahali anajengea safi na unajua uko ilikuwa kama turkana si kama hapa kuna nyeshanga ni mahali watoto wanafika class 8 waja hiyo na mvua <laughs> alafu na ametenga ametafuta ta amepaka amejaribu kuambia watu mvua inakuja walikuwa wanapita wanasema wakienda christmas wanasema kile kichizi kila kuangusha ngome kuja nini waonyesha
Swali moja tunauliza hapo pale na udaktari. Uliona wageni wako lini? Ngarangu ya miaka. Kabisa unajua hujaokoka 
hujampa Yesu maisha yako ningependa uinue mkono ni kuombe saa hii we will translate you from hell to heaven hivyo ile inaitwa kolopia pa unaingia mbinguni saa hii are you here and you're willing to give your life to Jesus inua mkono tutaomba pamoja na wewe mahali popote ulipo mahali popote ulipo anybody you want to give your life to Jesus you want to enter the race you want to enter the race if you're here kama hautaki kuinua mkono baada ya ibada hii hema imejaa mafuta hapa hawa ni wachungaji hawa ni mabishop this is the clergy ongea na mmoja umwambie mimi yeye mimi nataka kuokoka kuja kinikodemas tutakuingisha tu sisi tumepewa visa tunapigianga watu muhuri na waleingia mbinguni we are the custom officers of the kingdom of god oh glory to god glory to god yes 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 nani mwingine anataka kuokoka we are custom officers sisi tumepewa uhuru wa kuingisha watu kwa ufalme wa mungu This is the greatest honor. Heshima kubwa unaweza kumpatia Bishop Elizabeth ni kuingia katika ufalme wa Mungu. Na unajua pengine umeokoka na unabebanga watu. Mi nataka uachilie tu. Eh because mbinguni huoni ngo. By the way kuna watu Bishop Bethel tunahitaji kuombea kategori nyingine ya wokovu. Ushaona kitabu cha ufunuo hapo mwisho kuna kategori ya wenye hawataingia waoga. Wenye uki black out ikiingia ukiona kate ni nasema shetani ashindwe na ni upepo imesogesha waoga hawaingi we will be making altar call ya waoga Todori utaonea view sasa mbinguni haleluya nasema hivyo nikigoja mwenye anataka kuokoka anybody who wants to give their life to Jesus together with my sister the greatest thing now let me tell you the greatest salvation mtoto akizaliwa hivi is real birth is real birth. Kama wewe ni daktari unajua mtoto akizaliwa asipolia anatwangwa lazima alie. That is a sign of life. So I'm glad for this lady and this is going to be the greatest testament of what God has done today. Tusimame pamoja tunapomuombea tumuingishe katika ufalme wa Mungu. Hallelujah. Pastor Dan, Bishop Tafadhali msaidie tu. Tunakushukuru sana baba wetu katika jina la Yesu kwa sababu ya binti huyu ambaye hakukuonea haya. Biblia inasema ya kwamba atakaye nionea haya mbele za watu nitamuonea haya mbele za baba. Lakini amekubali kuja na kukubaliana na ujumbe wa mtumishi wako ujumbe utakao mbinguni. Ya kwamba yuko mbioni lakini hawezi kushinda ila awe ndani ya Kristo. Tunamwombea uzima tele. Bible nasema yoyote akiwa ndani ya Kristo Yesu amekuwa kiumbe kipya. Ya kale yamepita. Ya kale yamepita. Yoyote aliyo nyuma ya binti huyu tunatangaza yamepita. Na tazama yote yamekuwa mapya. Leo hii anavuka toka mautini na kuingia uzimani. Leo hii anafanyika sio mtu wa Mungu lakini mtoto wa Mungu. Aliyezaliwa sio kwa mawazo na uwezo wa kibinadamu bali kwa uwezo wa roho. Na muombea ujazo wa Roho Mtakatifu. Tumaini lake lizidi kuwa na nguvu. Mpe ushirika utakao mlea. Umsaidie kumtegemea Yesu daima. Ushuhuda na mbegu iliyopandwa wakati wa kifo na mazishi ya Elizabeth ni kwamba binti mmoja aliyokoka. Tunakushukuru Bwana. Hii ni ishara tosha ya kwamba roho ya Elizabeth haijapotea. Tunaomba mwondoko na pendo alilokuwa nalo kwa ajili ya kazi yako litadumu miongoni mwetu. Utukuzwe Kristo. Utukuzwe milele kwa jina la Yesu bwana wetu. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Now, Bible nasema kuna furaha pinguni wakati mwenye dhambi moja. Kuna watu wata make sure unatembea ukikwazika. Kuna watu wakiongea wana make sure umeharibika. Tembea kwa wepesi samehe. Hello. Sasa ambia jirani yako kwa ni hapa ya nyo amenikosea. Mwona mwona wake ngadhia. Ukiona mwona wame nyamaza kambe yako. Ujia uyo hayuko na sisi. Alitebea na yesu. Alimpena mwokozi. That's all I know. I need no other argument. I need nothing else. That is enough for me. And that is the testimony I will carry. Na ninajua wale ambao wanatuangalia kwa mtandao. Walifikiri Elizabeth is a nobody. I want to declare this woman is a hero. A giant of faith. A mother and a father. Father's day uyu alikuwa a celebratiwe. Because she not only mothered, she fathered sons. Hallelujah. I will celebrate her because she was a hero. And she will remain a hero. In the heroes of faith in Nakuru County, this woman has done what many men cannot do. Mume wangu ni askofu. Kuna watu wao natafuta mume wangu anamwambia, "Ati niko na mwito, nifungulie kanisa, mimi nitafanya kazi." Huyu hapo anatafuta afunguliwe. He? She would go where giants have failed and do great and awesome things. Come on, let us celebrate this woman of God. Even as she has departed, we celebrate. We celebrate. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Now the Bible says, "Kuna hero tumeambiwa because there are many witnesses." Kwa sababu kuna watazamaji na wasikilizaji wengi. Hawa ni kina nani? Ukirudi chapter 11 ya Hebrews, unakuta the heroes of faith. Wacha tu nitaje mmoja wawili alafu nimalizie. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Unakuta hero mmoja ambaye anaitwa Abel. Abel alijua kutolea Mungu bila salmon. Abel alijua Mungu ni Mungu wa kuheshimishwa na sadaka zangu. Kwa hivyo alitoa vile Mungu anapenda. A hero of faith in giving. Mwingine anaitwa Noah. Noah aliamini Mungu. We nimekuwa pasta sasa this is mwaka wangu wa 32 tangu nikuwe mchungaji. Lakini wacha niwaambie in the 32 years Ningekuwa nimehubiri 32 years na hakuna mtu ameokoka. Ningerudi kwa Yesu nimuulize, hebu ujue vile tutaishi. Usinifanye hivi bwana. Nimesimama kila siku na sema, the Bible says her. The Bible, alafu watu wanapita wanasema, hmm? One year, two years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, 70, 90, igana, 110, 120, nobody. Hakuna mtu aliokoka. Halafu ujumbe wake ulikuwa nini? Vua kubwa itanyesha. Tubuni. Nimejenga hii safi na ingien. Kwaza hakijenga. Na imagine watu wakienda Christmas. Walikuwa kipita mahali anajengea safi na. Na unajuku ulikuwa kama turukana. Si kama hapa kuna nyeshanga. Ni mahali watoto wanafika class 8. Wajayo na vua. Halafu. Na wamejenga. Hame tafuta. Hamepaka, hamejaripu kuwabia watu. Vua inakuja, walikuwa na pitu wazema. Wakena Christmas wazema, kile kijizi, kila kwa ngusha kukwenu, kuja hini waonyesha. Kila sema, wana hati kutanyesha. Hati, 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 tunamalizo wana mwa. Kitu imaji, kiki, kiki, utahona, utahona. Tukena, tusema, wewe, ina wakeshi. Wawoi, mama utuori. Ikeni kwa safi na vua inanyesha, wazema, he goes cuckoo. He thinks it's going to rain. He's so dull. Can you imagine just go home? It's going to rain. I love when I take a selfie. When I say my kutanyesha, and yet the sun is sunning it. This is it. We're really doing this. The sun is sunning it. The climate is just amazing. We are at the beach, people. Check us out, people. Jama aliamini It is not how it looks It is who said it Na kamini katikati Ya kila mutu kutomuamini I thank God for Mrs. 
Noah. Na watoto wa Noah. Na hao watoto wa Noah wananikumbusha watoto wa Elizabeth. I love that you're hanging on to this dream and you will make it come to pass. Let the doubters keep doubting. Continue with the vision of your mama because this thing is not dying. Hallelujah. Baada ya mvua ikanyesha na akaingia kwa heroes of faith. Hallelujah. My favorite is Sarah. Sara, Sara, Sara jakaga gorofa. Ya Sara. Mungu anamwambia atapata mtoto. Hata alicheka ona ni kurideka. Wewe. Wewe. Bwana sifi. Wewe. Bisho pesta, sasa hii waambie maternity na utafika miaka ya
ukatimia kwako kama uko ndani ya race. Kama hujaokoka hauko kwa race. Eh wewe umekaa huko nje ukipiga makofi siku moja nilienda tena huyo ndugu yangu. My brother ndio alikuwa akikimbia nyayo stadium. My first born alikuwa miaka miwili na nusu. Tukaenda stadium. Sasa mtoto wangu sasa ni mtu mzima amemaliza ame graduate university lakini sasa kalikuwa tu ana half. Kakijua ninasema niko kwa shida. Sasa tukaenda study. My brother in law walikuwa anafanya zile hit. Anafanya hit 1 una qualify hit 2. Sasa ile ilikuwa noma kabisa ndio sasa wawakilishe uh, World Junior Athletics. Akiwa pale nikamwambia mtoto wangu sasa hii this is the one this is the one sasa tumekaa huko juu kwa study tuna watch tuna watch alafu nikamwambia bwana anko anko ndio yule amevaa hivi akasema yule anko namwambia nataka leo tushangilie mpaka ashinde <coughs> alikuwa anakimbia 200 meters so mahali anakuja kukaribu kumalizia hapo ndio tulikuwa tumekaa wakafanya audio max get ready Tua! Jama alichomoka tukapiga kelele tukapiga kelele tukapiga kelele mtoto wangu tangu azaliwe anajua shangwe na vigelegele kwa Yesu kila mtu wako wewe ukamba ukamba chafu chafu yako haleluya 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 na leo nataka nikuombie wakati utashinda wale mashahidi watasema haleluya kwa sababu umeshinda siku unajua hii nikitekwa nayo kuanguka ni rahisi lakini ukivaa turabas unatembeana kwa wepesi beba watu kama na moyo uko na rabas wacha kubeba watu wanakukwaza kwaza wanakuumiza umiza samee mpaka ukikutana na mtu mzima atiwa ngine ni wewe no you look at me where did i see you did we go to school together Yuko kwa mera. Ha! Ukikaa kume ni mwenye alikukwaza ukamsamehe ukasonga ukisonganga. Wacheni tuwe gari ya kusonga. Lakini kama haujaokoka, hii kwako itakuwa entertainment. Utasema kale kama mama kai na wako na unadogea sheria, utabaki ukini describe. Halafu mimi nikipigiwa shangwe nikiingia utakuwa offside. If you here in honor of this great woman kabisa unajua hujaokoka hujampa Yesu maisha yako ningependa uinue mkono ni kuombe saa hii we will translate you from hell to heaven hivyo ile inaitwa kolopia pa unaingia mbinguni saa hii are you here and you willing to give your life to Jesus inua mkono tutaomba pamoja na wewe mahali popote ulipo mahali popote ulipo anybody you want to give your life to Jesus you want to enter the race you want to enter the race if you're here kama hautaki kuinua mkono baada ya ibada hii hema imejaa mafuta hapa hawa ni wachungaji hawa ni mabishop this is the clergy ongea na mmoja umwambie mimi yeye mimi nataka kuokoka kuja kinikodemas tutakuingisha tu sisi tumepewa visa tunapigianga watu muhuri na wanaingia mbinguni we are the custom officers of the kingdom of god pay glory to god glory to god yes 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 nani mwingine anataka kuokoka we are custom officers sisi tumepewa uhuru wa kuingisha watu kwa ufalme wa mungu This is the greatest honor. Heshima kubwa unaweza kumpatia Bishop Elizabeth ni kuingia katika ufalme wa Mungu. Na unajua pengine umeokoka na unabebanga watu. Mi nataka uachilie tu. Eh because biguni huoni mo. By the way kuna watu Bishop Bethwell tunahitaji kuombea kategori nyingine ya wokovu. Ushaona kitabu cha ufunuo hapo mwisho kuna kategori ya wenye hawataingia waoka. Wenye uki black out ikiingia ukiona kate ninasema hey, shetani ashindwe na ni upepo imesogesha waoka hawaingi we will be making altar call ya waoka Todori utaonea view sasa mbinguni haleluya nasema hivyo nikingoja mwenye anataka kuokoka anybody who wants to give their life to Jesus together with my sister the greatest thing now let me tell you the greatest salvation mtoto akizaliwa hivi is real birth is real birth kama wewe ni daktari unajua mtoto akizaliwa asipolia anatwangwa 
plasma here. That is a sign of life. So I'm glad for this lady. And this is going to be the greatest testament of what God has done today. To Simame Pamoja, to Napo Mombea, to Muingishe Katika Ufalme Wamunga. Hallelujah. Pastor Dan, Bishop Tafadali, it's a day to move. Tunakushukuru sana baba wetu katika jina la Yesu kwa sababu ya binti huyu ambaye hakukuonea haya. Biblia inasema ya kwamba atakayenionea haya mbele za watu utamuonea haya mbele za baba. Lakini amekubali kuja na kukubaliana na ujumbe wa mtumishi wako ujumbe utakao mbinguni. Ya kwamba yuko mbioni lakini hawezi kushinda ila awe ndani ya Kristo. Tunamwombea uzima tele. Bible nasema yoyote akiwa ndani ya Kristo Yesu amekuwa kiumbe kipya. Ya kale yamepita. Ya kale yamepita. Yoyote aliyo nyuma ya binti huyu tunatangaza yamepita. Na tazama yote yamekuwa mapya. Leo hii anavuka toka mautini na kuingia uzimani. Leo hii anafanyika sio mtu wa Mungu lakini mtoto wa Mungu aliyezaliwa sio kwa mawazo na uwezo wa kibinadamu bali kwa uwezo wa roho. Namwombea ujazo wa Roho Mtakatifu tumaini lake lizidi kuwa na nguvu. Mpe ushirika utakao mlea umsaidie kumtegemea Yesu daima. Ushuhuda na mbegu iliyopandwa wakati wa kifo na mazishi ya Elizabeth ni kwamba binti mmoja aliyokoka. Tunakushukuru Bwana. Hii ni ishara tosha ya kwamba roho ya Elizabeth haijapotea. Tunaomba muondoko na pendo alilokuwa nalo kwa ajili ya kazi yako litadumu miongoni mwetu. Utukuzwe Kristo. Utukuzwe milele kwa jina la Yesu Bwana wetu. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Now, Bible inasema kuna furaha mbinguni wakati mwenye dhambi moja wakati mwenye dhambi moja anapogeuka na kuziacha njia zake mbaya na kuja katika ufalme wa Mungu kuna furaha mbinguni wapi furaha katika mazishi ya askofu Elizabeth kwa ajili ya huyu mmoja amen 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 naomba tafadhali niwape dakika chache tu mketi we are almost done wapi makofi ya mhubiri mama yangu Reverend Faith Bogongo